We've got a warning about a local construction business that the Better Business Bureau says has been charging clients and then not doing the work. Not a good situation. Customers have lost tens of thousands of dollars, and it doesn't stop there. Our Diane Lee explains the owner has done this before in other parts of the Carolinas. It's as if James Morris, the owner of Custom Steel Garage Builders in Greenville County, just up and vanished. But the longer he goes without making good on his business promises, the more victims come forward, like Guillermo Camacho and Lee Carmen. He was a great sweet talker, uh, you know, real smooth. He, t he tells you how trustworthy he is, uh, what a good Christian man he is, and that he built his business on trust and loyalty. He, he takes you in, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Carmen lost $600 when this shed never got finished. Camacho lost 12000 funds that were supposed to go towards supplies. He was a scammer all the way. They're two of six customers who have filed complaints so far with the Better Business Bureau for losses that total $65,000. He starts the garage, gets their money, and then he's gone and he doesn't finish anything. And he's done it before in North Carolina. The company had a different name. WRAL-TV in Raleigh reported in 2010 that Morris would change the name of his company as he piled up 15 complaints. His clients aren't the only ones who lost money. Morris had rented this building on Black Snake Road in Easley, but his landlord says when he disappeared, he had failed to pay $7,000 in rent. After he didn't return our calls, we used a different phone. Hello. Oh, hi, James. This is Diane Lee, anchor reporter with 7 News. I'm glad I've reached you. We're doing a story on you and your company today, and I'd like to... Oh, he hung up. <laughs> you guys surprised about that? Not at all. Not at all. Both men not confident they'll ever see their money again, but hopeful the pattern of deception will end with their warning. In Easley, Diane Lee, 7 News. Now, within this last hour, we got a response to our email to the company. It said only that, quote, the business has closed. The owner had acute heart failure and has filed for bankruptcy. That's all it said. In the WRAL-TV report, Morris had also said he would file for bankruptcy, but he never did. For advice on how to avoid contractor scams like this one, check our story out on WSPA.com.